Great news, PandaCam is back. More importantly, the federal government is open for business, but in order to get that compromise bill done, there were, of course, some shoehorned extras. Some conservatives cried pork after a $2 billion authorization for the Olmstead Lock and Dam project was added to the bill. We're here on the Ohio River on the Olmstead Lock and Dam's project. The money will continue to pay for this massive Army Corps of Engineers project on the Ohio River along Kentucky's border. The Senate Conservatives Fund, a political action committee, dubbed it the Kentucky Kickback, blaming the addition on Kentucky's own Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. So I'm pleased to get this kind of first-hand briefing of a project that I and others have been working on providing the funds for. McConnell has long supported the dam project. Here he is on a visit in 2009, but this morning he fired back at critics on WVLK radio in Lexington. There was no earmark. The Army Corps of Engineers requested the Olmstead uh, lock funding. Uh, right. Both House and Senate passed an authorization for it. Every single member of the Senate had a chance to review it, and none asked for it to be taken out. McConnell's negotiating counterpart, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, agreed last night. This is not an earmark. It saves the money, the taxpayers lots of money. It turns out, officials say, stopping and restarting the project would have cost over $200 million if the authorization had not gone through. Oh, and President Obama had the same provision to continue the project in his 2014 budget. Rather than talking about shutting down the government, it's time to talk about shutting down the waste. Tom Schatz is president of Citizens Against Government Waste. Adding a provision to fund a dam opens the door for similar projects in the next CR. This project has tripled in cost, it's behind schedule, and if regular order had prevailed, it's unclear whether that would have been funded at all in the normal energy and water appropriations bill. Other additions to the bill to reopen the government include $175,000, which will be paid to the widow of Senator Frank Lautenberg, who died last year. Such a payment is standard practice, but it might be worth noting Lautenberg was one of the wealthiest members of Congress. Roll Call reported he was worth more than $50 million in 2011. And finally, let's call this one the Edward Snowden effect. The Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board will get $3.1 million. They're a White House oversight group set up to guard Americans' right to privacy against overreach by government cyber intelligence. Senator John McCain did not mince words about some of these added provisions. He told the Daily Beast, quote, these people are like alcoholics. They can't resist taking a drink. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It shows that there are people in this body who are willing to use any occasion to get an outrageous pork barrel project done at the cost of millions and millions of dollars. It's disgusting.